Hey Squids, it's Hank from Nintendo, back with another episode of Think Tank. So most of you guys probably understand how imperative swimming is in Splatoon. And if you're like me, you enjoy sneaking around in the ink. Unfortunately, not all of us want to dedicate our main chess piece ability slots to Ninja Squid. So for us, the solution has always been to tilt our left control stick slightly while swimming in order to maintain that stealth. Now this can be difficult to do, especially in the heat of battle, as the control stick is very sensitive and tilt moving requires precision that is just not available to most people when they are preoccupied with the game. However, there is actually a better way to remain concealed in the ink while swimming that my friend Solvatos showed me on squid boards. It's a technique called squid trotting. This allows you to reliably, with high acceleration and under pressure, maintain a swim speed of about 65% while still retaining the stealth that you'd expect from just slightly tilting your control stick. As always, performing this technique is rather simple. You're really just giving your squid frequent bursts of momentum. First, you press down fully on the control stick to accelerate your squid in a certain direction. After about a quarter of a second, release your finger from the control stick to prevent any ripples from appearing. After your squid halts in the ink, you press down fully on the control stick again and repeat the process until you are done. This will not create any ripples in the ink as long as you do not accelerate past 70% of your maximum momentum. Squid trotting does work with the swim speed up ability, so you can increase the speed of your stealth swimming even further with optimized gear. And unlike an inkling using the ninja squid ability, you still have access to your maximum swim speed if stealth is not a factor. Well squids, that's squid trotting. Have fun using this in firefights against your opponent, and let me know if there are any other techniques you want me to cover down in the comment section below. If this video helped you out, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more content like this. You can also share this video with others to help them improve their movement in Splatoon. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.